Nice. So my my Belgian force is up to six right now, which is good. I have eleven divisions training, twenty-one of imaginary line, and I also have four mountain brigades and a cavalry brigade down in Yugoslavia in mountains. Uh, some Just... people are asking in my chat, what's the percentage in the top right? Which is well, tension and democratic countries can't do certain things unless the tension goes over certain numbers. Yeah, so it's kind of ideal to keep it low until, because obviously we're not a democratic country, I guess. Yeah, it, it decays at 0.5% a month uh, until 20, uh, minimum 25%. So we're, we're pushing it up, basically, although the nationalist Spain put 17.6% on there. Japan yeah. will put a huge amount on that later. Yeah, I mean, but hopefully, will, it, will the national Spain uh, number go down? Uh, over uh, time, I don't or... think it does. I think it only ever goes as low as 25%. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, you got to have world tension at 50% to join a faction as nationalist Spain. Whereas Italy could join, but saying no because it's a major nation and neither of us are at war and they have a base reluctance. So it looks like we have to use a, a national what's it thing to get Italy into the axis. Yeah, I mean that's fine though. That's no no issue. Um, I might go ahead and create a new template for my men just to go ahead and, and just boost them up a bit because I mean we have fifty experience, so I guess it's better to do it now than it is to do. Yep, yeah, it was do... either that or you saved it to start attaching things like your medical corps to stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. We might as well wait until that's done. Before we we kind of look at anything else, I guess. So wait until that's all done before spending it. What are we doing at the moment? The treaty with the USSR. Yeah, which will give us Panzer bonuses. You can see penalty minus one hundred percent for the Panzer. Three. Uh, we have the requirements for demanding the Sudetenland, I believe. Yep, we can do that as well. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty k manpower on the field. So we'll probably do that after the treaty, right? Oh, we have three military factories as well. Uh, where do you want to, Slovenia? Where do you want to stick that next military factory in to support equipment? Um, oh, okay. Uh, we probably want to start our tanks, don't we? We don't have them researched. Yes, but can we? Can we? We can't do it when we don't have them researched, right? No. Because uh, that would be kind of nice, but. Unless we want fighters. Um, oh yeah, fighters could be a good thing to have. But we don't have the oil right now, do we? Yeah, if we move up, we don't have the oil. But how long until our refineries are done? Yeah, so our refineries done in a couple days, a couple months. Yeah, in a, like that? 20 days, 25 days. Not even that. Uh, 16, 29th oh, okay. of June. It's 13th of June. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so... Yeah, we can we just stick it in there for now. They won't have the the optimal amount of stuff they need, but Yep. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. The chat have said, yes, waft that luft. <laughs> nice. At least my front line's now fully covered. Oh, there's the Marines. Oh, nice. So I'll go ahead and start researching. Um, um, I'll just pause it quickly. I'll put you on a production of Marines. Okay, cool. Thank you. I, oh, how do I move them up? up? Um, I guess we want the maintenance company as well. Should we start researching that? Or what about logistical companies? Like, if you're going deep into into Russian territory, would you rather have better logistics or better maintenance? The thing is, tanks? it's probably going to be a while before we get to needing um, to go to Russia. Okay, so, I mean, radios as well could be kind of nice, reinforcement speed. Yeah. Or industry, is there anything in industry? Because we can now get the uh, dispersed industry too. Or we can get um, we can get the better resource gaining thing, the resource gain efficiency 10%. Which is 50% cheaper as well. Yeah. So do you think that would be better? Yeah, yeah go for the, that one. That sounds good. Okay, cool. It's only 78 point. days as well, so it's pretty quick. Yeah. 
Um, the Marines currently start one wide, three deep in terms of division template. Okay. I'm wondering what we should... Okay, they're not going to need air support. Oh, that's anti-air. They're not going to need an engineer company for entrenchment. Although it gives them some breakthrough and soft attack. Uh, what do you reckon? Uh, whatever you think's best. I haven't actually fought a war yet, so like, because in my playthrough, I kind of only did the the pre-war. So I fleshed them out a little bit. I mean, we'll put some artillery on. Recon lets them pick the right type as they go across as well as the thing. It's going to cost 35 military experience. You happy with that? Uh, yeah, if you think it's worth it, go for it. Because like, obviously we're not going to have to spend any of ours until we kind of get the field hospitals and stuff before you start making our own division. So. Um, I've set yours to board in Franken, which is next to yeah, Frankfurt, I think. Yeah, where I'm getting all my troops. So yeah, that's good. Right. And it's just going to build you five of them. Because you, you literally manually control them for dumping across rivers. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll stick them in a different different division. Eventually, you want to boost it to 10 because naval invasions, the maximum you can have in a naval invasion is 10. Okay, cool. But for now, you're not doing naval invasions, we're just doing river crossings, so. Wait, why do I have untrained troops that don't mess up? Oh, my next four are nearly trained. Why won't you... There's no orders assigned to it. Well, join the freaking... There we go. I've been telling it to do that for ages. Never mind. Yeah, I guess I must have sent some untrained battalions by mistake, which is kind of annoying. I have to move them all the way back to the other dude now. Right, we've got another political thing. Okay, cool. I guess maybe the... Oh, we have both of them. What about material design? So research of small arms, which we're going to be doing next year. So we could maybe wait off a little bit and get something else. Is there anything? Uh, what about the chief um, of army one? Is that any good? Chief of army, army organization is... Uh, training time minus 10%. That could good. be good. Get him then. Which is Wilhelm Keitel. My next four units trained up. Or will be momentarily. Oh, Amelia Earhart survives. They get her as a flying ace or, or a trainer or something, I think. Oh, that really? means the American Air Force just got better. I guess that's not too great for us. Nope. How's the Netherlands doing? Oh yeah, how's the how's the election gone? Thirty six percent fascist. Ah, we can stop that on nationalist Spain. Oh, I don't think we are. I mean, it's definitely because going it... up. What was I looking for? That was it. My trained units. You thought. Our treaty is almost done as well, and our one of our research shots to kind of free up as just around about the time. Can you change research midway through it? You can, nice. Ooh, uh, some people are in chat are asking why is this army group suffering attrition? It's because they're training. They're using up resources to train. Uh, should we build some more factories? Because we have a few more. Yeah, we have like 10 factories which aren't even doing anything. It's that or did we want... Oh, it's unpaused. Um, cool. Did we want more oil? Um, I guess oil because we're going to start building a ton of tanks soon. Yeah. Because I'm going to. Okay. Obviously, we just got that. I mean, you do you want to demand uh, the uh, uh, Czechoslovakia now, or start down that road with our focus? Uh, what demand Sudetenland? Yeah, and start down that. Yeah, I was wondering what's this demand Slovenia. It's um, Yugoslavia, yeah, this, isn't Yugoslavia, it? Yugoslavia, so it's down in the Balkans. We all, we can we, we can go down that as well at some Let's point. Just... 
see what their resources look like. So they've got lots of lovely chromium, which we need for bigger tanks, but I don't think we need any time now. Yeah, I mean, I, we, I think we discussed that we weren't really going to go down the heavy tank because you said it was just wasn't really... Yeah, it's just so much resource. Like, I mean, it's tons of that stuff, which we don't have. Yeah, okay. Yep, check us the bag. Yep, they've got some more tungsten, which we will need, and 28 iron. Okay, cool. So we'll demand it, and we will... Oh, iron steel, it. sorry. Right, so factories, what do we want to put them on? Um, so, what, the military one? I guess we just go down towed artillery and just improve that a little bit more. That's an extra one a day. Yep, done it. Just fill that up a little bit more, and then obviously we just build more. Yeah, you've got a bunch more refineries. So, yeah, we're, we're producing quite a lot, because we've pretty much got three, three things building all at once. So, that's pretty, pretty impressive. When, when, when it comes to it, we can even just bang out some anti-air as well, because anti-air is pretty cheap. Yeah, you'd want that along, well, yeah. facing off against Britain, pretty much. Yeah, exactly, so... And some coastal forts, probably. Is it coastal forts, or is it just land? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah, the coastal forts prevent naval invasion, so all along the, the sea coast. That's one thing we have to watch. AI likes doing crazy ass invasions from weird places like in my last one britain invaded north of the northern italy they landed at right up the top of italy and invaded oh, really? there that's weird i mean i guess it's not a dumb idea you know you kind of cut off the troops on the french border and then the french yeah. move up so yeah absolutely screwed them it's like oh uh, <laughs> that's not historical clever girl <laughs> just like jurassic park clever ai Oh, more factories. Should, should I just uh, stick up like all the factories just to go into support for now, and then like there's just uh, like a row, um, and then we can. That just... or did we want more fighters? Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Do we have the oil though yet for it? Possibly not. Rubber's a bit low as well, but it would come out of the bombers and the close air support first, and the oil would come out of the subs because all of our subs are fully oiled at the moment. Okay, so what, should I reduce tow artillery a little bit, and then... Um... How many you got spare? Okay, no, leave, leave it for the moment, but what are we producing? We've got... We've still got two more to produce. The next two, if we chuck them in fighters. Okay, and it might be a good idea just to stick more in, like, another production line of infantry equipment, because we're, we're still losing 12,000, you know? But like, that's not that's going nice. down. We are recruiting, like, uh... Yeah, a lot of men. Uh, 30, 30 divisions. Once those marines are done, that will calm down a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a lot of marine divisions. That'd be good. The panzer division was only meant to go to one. Never mind, I'm building a second one, apparently. Whoops. Alright, so once we get fascist to near 50%, we could look at staging a coup and throwing a load of equipment across to uh, Amsterdam. Yep, seems like a good plan. we let them go the more peaceful route. Either, either or, I mean, I've got men ready to, ready to go, so... Should I even bother uh, setting a a plan against France on the Maginot line? Like, is there a, a defense plan or is there not? Yeah, draw draw one, but then you don't click the tick button above the top of it because oh, okay. they'll get the planning bonus because they're on a plan, even though they're not activating the plan. Okay, so just something like that, right? Like what I've yep. done. Looks fine. Yeah, ideally to take that, you'd hit in the south and then push up around the back of the river, pin some people in. Oh, Toad anti-tank. Nice. Now, um, I probably want to just leave that to slot to? free. Oh, no, we wanted to stop researching panzers, right? Yeah, straight away. Because what that's... It takes 187 days, and we're a year, two years ahead. So in... Like, by the end of this year, we'll have panzers a year before we should. 
Excellent. Um, okay. Excellent. With with that, do you want to just create your own division now that you have, or are we just going to add that? Like, are we just going to keep the same same like with one unit of infantry divisions, or are we going to? Um, do you want to just specify so off now, or we can't design it now because it's a medium tank and we don't have any medium tanks? No, I mean the artillery, by the, the anti tank artillery. Like, if you're going to want to add it to your right. units, do you want to just create your own separate thing and just call it like Mal's infantry or something? Because if you change, surely if you change your infantry to that, you won't need to yeah, change the all... infantry. You just need to change the the artillery added to it. If that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, all all of these divisions would suddenly have to get artillery, including all the ones we're producing. Yeah. I, I don't think I will need it until I have to deal with the Soviets. So okay, that's cool. I'm then. I'm happy to wait and not spend the army experience yet because we're going to get a load from fighting Poland. Okay, that's cool. Let's see how the AI spits that lot out that I sent across. I think that means, yep, the Eastern Poland bit of land we've got is now at least one division on every segment of the border. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. I mean, you should steamroll Poland. I don't really think that'll be able to deal with your assault. I think as soon as you get Warsaw, it's pretty much over. My tanks are going in in the south, which is urban, which is not ideal. Urban and forest, but it's better than having to try and push them across a river. And the north's got some nasty looking forts by the look of it. Nice land doctrine is done. Um, I mean, we can start. We can, oh wow, Ooh. that's we're out. Of, we, all of our submarines have been made. Oh really? That's funny. Hang on, let me just set submarines up as an infinite production. Um, that's super cheap, by the way. The the armored spearhead thing in land auction is only gonna take us 111 days. When I was playing, it took me like 200 days to do. It's like 50% cheaper because of our, I guess, our treaty or something. Um, I think it was when we did that left-hand column, the industrial effort. Oh, really? Uh, no, that... not, industrial effort. not industrial effort, sorry. Something somewhere, I'm sure I read it, gave us a land doctrine bonus. Okay. There it is. Army innovations, two times 50% research bonus for land doctrine. Oh, it's probably because when I was playing, I didn't have stuff researched in land doctrine. So, right. like, it just, like, obviously it just goes on to the next two, but... Obviously, yep. I, it was further down the tree. It might be a good idea as well to go down the naval rearm rearmament, like after kind of annexing Czechoslovakia and starting getting some more, like. Get some more docks. Yeah. Because obviously, we're going to have to go down there if we want to befriend Denmark as well. Like we I said, don't we want to. Plan do. Z was. Let's have a look. Uh, Emil Reader believes that the British can be as speedy defeated through a policy of surface raiding. Constructing enough battleships and carriers to accomplish this massive task will take some time. Okay, so Plan Z is not U boats. It's everything okay. but U boats. So, what we don't want to do, we not want to do that? Are we scrapping the befriend Netherlands and Norway well, no, plan? I'm, I'm just saying, in terms of it means that we're not getting bonuses to submarine research. Yeah, we're like getting it, bonuses does out, to everything else. Does that outweigh our our desire for our alliance? Like, would we rather have the U boat efficiency or would we rather. From, from watching World War Wednesday. Killing yeah. off convoys is nice, but it doesn't strangle out the UK completely. Okay, so you would so do you think it's better do to have want to go for the surface fleet? Okay, cool. In terms of if we think we are ever actually going to be able to take them out, I don't think submarines will be the the winning choice. Okay, cool. I love how you zoom so far out, it just throws eight of my divisions in the middle of Poland. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. Yeah, I mean we've got a pretty pretty nice and, army so far. Like Like you you and the Swiss aren't even in Switzerland, you're just randomly on the top of Italy. <laughs> yep. I mean we've yeah, we've got almost a hundred divisions now, so that's pretty good. Our manpower's um 
draining, I think we're going to have to do a conscription law unless Next. there's a unless one of the focuses gives us access to more population. I haven't seen one. Um, I don't think so. Again, getting the Sudetenland may give us access to more troops. Yep, which hopefully will be done very soon. It's halfway done. So we'll, we'll get what the top of is it the top of Czechoslovakia we get to begin with, or is it all of it? Just straight. I think off the it kind of cuts off between the two bits that we've got. Okay. It shrinks them, but not completely takes them out, and it becomes. I think it just becomes Slovakia to the east. Yeah, because well, obviously you'll have to extend your borders a bit as well when we finally wipe them out and just wrap around Poland. I mean, that should stretch Poland completely out when you take up the rest of Czechoslovakia and go all along that border. Like, they'll be stretched thin, I imagine. They, they pretty much already are. Another research slot? Yep. Uh, cons oh, no. No way. I mean, uh, dispersed industry next, or do we want the yep. more oil plants? Yep. Or um... Oh, and, we'll, and we can also Let's get... look at the timings. Yeah, go and so, pause that. We're currently going to be going... When's that one finish? And we can also That's get December. the improved uh, improved machine tools as well, which makes 10% product efficiency, which is pretty big, I think. I would go for the dispersed industry... No, don't go for the oil this time. I think the oil should be the next one. Okay, cool. So dispersed industry too? Yeah. Researching. Do you think we're going to need this many oil as well? Out of um, interest, we like, because, yeah? Yeah, because that's 25 oil. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. sure we'll use and that. I, where was the tanks? I was looking at them. Hang on. It was... Panzer threes are one oil each, and if you have 15 factories, that's 15 oil. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And you're going to have to ramp up uh, the motorized and the mechanized things to match them because you're going to have you know mechanized divisions with them yeah that's cool so we get pans of freeze in 155 days which should be pretty busy we can probably bang out quite a few before the war even like gets close to starting yeah which should be nice apparently get an estimate of the size of the enemy army on the political screen I don't personally see it but you say the political screen. Uh, no, I don't think I can see it either. It's national unity, relationship, army, I mean, uh, diplomatic power. Never mind. Uh, are we building more boats, by the way, as well? Is that something we wanted to do? On yeah, the possibly. Line is, oh, yeah, you've you already stuck it to uh, infinite subs. Apparently it's under details. I don't know where details is. Again, infantry equipment is up to almost 15k deficit. That's pretty huge. Um, how long till those marines finish? The uh, marines are still getting equipment at the moment. They're missing infantry and artillery. The support equipment's done. For like the most may part. maybe it'd be a good idea to get some more factories up and going instead of like maybe getting some of these oil factories, but then maybe leaving like two of them and just getting more military factories. Okay, so military. Because obviously, if we end up going into war and we're at a huge deficit, it's just not going to be good. I maybe drop just shift the bottom, two of you them. to the bottom. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, we get them free. That's a decent amount, right? And we should get some stuff out of the Sudetenland when we take that. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah, that's good. Ah, there it is. Okay, so you click on them, you click on their flag, and... What I wasn't appreciating is that where it says diplomacy and then details, that's actually a clickable thing. I assumed it was just a heading for oh, the yeah, column well, underneath well. it. And then you get all their information. Okay. Yeah, so what France have 56 to 91 divisions. Poland have 40 to 64. 
That's actually a little bit scary because well, I only have 46 on my side in total on that border yeah, anyway. It wasn't the idea that after we took out Poland, I'd pretty much drive across and help out. Yeah, yeah, seems like a good plan. There's, there's not someone immediately I'm going to dive on, I don't think. Yeah, no, that's cool. Oh, we've paused. That'd be white. <laughs> People in chat are like, oh, it's two reads through screen, rising. Click button. <laughs> Try and tell me where the detail screen is. If I did, like, honestly, that looked like a, com a header completely. All right, we've got another fits cool thing. Do you want me to change the conscription laws? Uh, yeah, I think because we're already down to half a million, pretty much. But I think it'd be uh, a smart training idea. time goes up by ten percent if we do extensive conscription. Uh, should we wait until the marines are done, or are they already? Yeah, they're not even fully trained we, yet. So we we can hang on. I I won't spend the diplomacy points then. Okay, cool. Again, tank designer. What does this get us? Bonus to reliability and soft attack. I'm getting the tank designer. Yep, go for it then. What's mobile tank designer? What? Hang on, hang on. Alright, max speed. No, we want soft attack. And it also okay. does lower the research time for armor by 10%, so does that mean that it does it on existing? Possibly. I don't... May, maybe it did. I'm not sure if it dropped like by like 8 days or not, but... I mean, I guess either way. Oh, yeah, I guess it does, because it pops up on the, the top of a research screen saying minus 10% armor research time, so. So, yeah, we have armor done in 80 days. We're getting political power at two a day, so it shouldn't be long till we can get that other thing. Whoa, here there we go. we go. A historic day for the Germany. Oh, wait, the do we not? Sudetenland. Boom. Oh right. yeah, there we go. So taking a lot across the river. Yep. Uh, does that give us more factories as well? Don't think it gave us any, any civilian. I think it gave us some military. It might be wrong. I don't think it gave us many. I think it gave us a few, but not because a lot. Because we've got in the support equipment, there's a grayed out one, so it yeah, just tagged I, it in I, after that. Yeah, I think. I think it was free in support, so I think we got maybe two. Which I guess is better than nothing. Right, national focus. What are we going for? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so I, I guess we don't want to go army innovation too because we don't. Re I mean, the land doctrine is nice, but oh, that's what we probably maybe should have done because we probably should have got army innovation before we got the Panzers. Right. Because then, because it, it look if you see it gives us a fifty percent bonus on that, so it would have been minus like a hundred and fifty, I think. So we could have gotten so oh, quickly, after but the treaty. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's not. I mean, it does also give bonuses to pretty much every tank as well. We could do the Molotov Ribbon Trop Pact. Whereabouts is that? Uh, just off of Army Innovations too. Oh yeah, sure. But don't we want to go anti at some point, or because don't we have well, to go down they... the anti one to befriend? Oh no, we don't have to go down that. Yeah, yeah, cool. So we can befriend um, it, Russia like we, they do we, historically. Yeah, we befriend them for now. <laughs> yeah, keep them friends whilst we smash France. Uh, yeah, so we can do that, or we can do the naval one. So it's up to you. You like, or we can also befriend Japan as well and get that going. Or we can also uh, go down uh, taking more of Czechoslovakia. We'll see first Vienna award and fate of Czechoslovakia. Let's see. So if we went naval, we'd probably run into oil limitations, maybe. Yeah. So then there's so what we can either do the the pact with Russia, or we can start taking more of Czechoslovakia, or we can get army innovation too. But I don't think that's as important. No, because we're quite a long way away from um, yeah. Panzer Camp Wagon Four and Five. You know, yeah, we're already Panther. like a year ahead of Panzer uh, Panzer Freeze, so you know we can kind of leave that for now. Obviously, the land doctrine is kind of nice, but again, I feel like we don't have to go down the land doctrine anytime soon as well. Like I feel like we're kind of a decent lead time ahead of land doctrine. So we can kind of chill a little bit with that. So uh, if either... we go second Vienna award, we get alliance with Italy. 
Oh, really? And then alliance with Spain. Yeah, so we'll go first one first. Yes, yeah, so we got to go first, then Slovakia. Yeah, then and then across. Fate, fate of Czechoslovakia. And then can we can we go across? So if you go Fate of Czechoslovakia, and then can we go across the second Vienna award? Yeah, I think the, the dotted line means that you can get there from either route. You don't need to have both. Solid means you have to have all prerequisites. Okay, cool. So yeah, Fate of Czechoslovakia. I mean, well, first Vienna award. Sorry. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, because getting Italy on our side and actually being able to deploy men in Italy, I guess, early will be kind of nice. Yep, and then the one below is befriend Spain. Yeah, which we want as well. Which one you're really surrounding France. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we oh, go, there. Japan. Here comes Japan. World tension up to 29%. Oh, there's your military factories. They just appeared. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. Uh, so what do we want to stick these in? Did you say we wanted more fighters? Well, I'm, I'm looking at infantry equipment still. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So what, another production line of infantry equipment? Yeah. Okay, cool. So do you want me to do that or are you... Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll let you do that. Okay, cool. So another one and we'll shift click it to the top. And we'll just like stick it full so everyone just dumps into it for now. And we can obviously just change it as we... As we go along. Yep. Damn, we need so much. <laughs> I mean, but we're building a decent amount of factories now. Like, as soon as our as soon as soon our uh, oil labs are done, we should be banging out factories because they're pretty quick to build as well, so. Ooh. Got another set of trainees. Um, I'm going to push them up with the guys in Poland again, I think. Oh. Can't queue them up like that. Okay. I mean, the Marines are almost done as well. What we can do with the Marines as well, we can just deploy them and train them as well, which isn't a. a yeah, you train them up. You you want them as a, a separate unit that you manually control, as opposed yeah. to sticking them on a front line because they'll get themselves tied up in fights when you really want them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's cool. 